guys and welcome back to my channel. Today um, I'm going to be showing you my travel journal, the way I've set it up, um, what's inside, how I've sort of organised it and I'm going to be also adding a few more pages to it and describing my itinerary for Japan. So I'm hoping this video today gives you some great ideas if you are going to Japan. I'll be showing you uh, my trip and what I've organised and where I'm going to be going. Um, and I also hope if you're not going to Japan and you're just going generally traveling, that it'll also give you ideas on how to set up a travel journal. So let's jump right in and um, I'll get started. I got this case and the little journal inside from Typo. So um, I got it for I think $29 and it's this beautiful fake leather. And then it's very generous so the zipper is quite large so you can fit a lot into it. So if you open it up, you can see first that I've got a section for a passport and I pop my passport inside there. Um, a section for tickets, it actually says tickets. Underneath that I've just got um, a smart travelling guide. It actually comes with our passports in Australia. So I thought it'd be um, wonderful to keep that in there because it's got really important things like um, who to call if you're in an emergency, like it's got lots of um, good just general tips on um, what happens if you get robbed or if you get sick or um, just general travelling tips. So it's just really handy to have that on me at all times. Um, now you can see under this little pocket, it's got a pocket for me to keep stuff in. It's not too generous, you can only keep little things in there I think. But I've just got my um, rail pass, so this one is the 14 day one. Um, and I've done a lot of research into the Japan Rail Pass. It was a good option for me because I'm going to be doing 14 days straight on the bullet train. Um, so I'm definitely going to be um, getting my use out of it. So the next thing in this little um, journal pocket is this little one here. And um, I got this one from AliExpress. And it's got these cute little Japanese um, symbols on the front. Um, like little illustrations I should say. And then I've got all my important information in there and I'll do a close up of this one in a second. Next is this actual journal and on the front it says take the long road home. Um, inside it has things like you can um, just do daily logs like the weather was, day date, destination, plans for the day and my daily adventures. Or you can write down all your personal information at the front. Um, addresses you need, you can put time zones in, so you can also colour this little map in. So it's got a lot of different prompts, so especially if you are travelling and you want a really good journal that has lots of prompts and kind of tells you how to journal, then this one looks fantastic. Um, it's also got some really cool pictures inside and um, at the end it has got just lined paper, so you can just write if you just want to write out. And it's also got things like where to go next time, um, like bars, best bars, best coffee places, like note sections, to-do lists. So I thought that was really cool. I really did like that a lot. Um, underneath the book, you can slip that one out. I've got my little Tokyo guide that was in the Hello Sandwich book. And then I've got my exchange order for my Japan Rail um, pass. And also under here is just, what's that? just information about the Japan Rail Pass. So if I just wanted some information on the go, I've popped them in there. I'm also going to add things in these little pockets like my travel insurance um, and then any other tickets that I get, I will put in here. Things like um, my subway tickets and stuff, I'll probably put in here as well. If not, I'll put it in my wallet. And I'm going to jump into my journal that I've been making over the past few days. So this is sort of my, my itinerary. This has got everything I need in here. So I like how small it is because it is compact. And um, I just really liked like the look of this journal. So if I open it up, on the first page you can see that I've just got um, a blank page and I've just put this beautiful little sticker over the top here. Um, I've just created this first page because I only really wanted these two um, calendar dates here, October and November, because they're the dates I'm going. So I've just highlighted the days I'm going to be away. So I've just decorated this one with some little Japanese stickers, some washi tape. And then this here is just a little pocket. This little pocket here, I haven't added anything in there yet. 
Um, I think I'm going to add things that I find in Japan in that pocket just because it's the first page. I want it to be really accessible. So just little flat things that I find throughout Japan I'm going to be adding into this little pocket. And it's just a little envelope that I've um, glued to the front. The next page is my kind of little itinerary of all the places I'm going to and what dates. So um, I'm going to be arriving in Tokyo on the 11th, so leaving Sydney on the 10th. And then um, I'm going to be in Tokyo for two weeks. So if I flip the page over, I've just again, I've put this paper down there just to decorate it a bit. This is just from Daiso. So most of the things I've decorated this journal with is either from Daiso, AliExpress or the cutouts from um, those little magazines I got from the travel um, agent. So I've got all my information here for flights. Um, and then if you flip the page again, I've got actually this little map how to get from the train station to my Airbnb home. So I'm staying with um, a couple and they've actually took photos of every step of the way how to get to their home. So I thought that was so lovely. I've printed it out and they've got even little arrows of which direction to go. Um, again, I'm not going to show you all the instructions because I'm sure they wouldn't like me um, putting their address on the internet. So this is the front door. I've also put a little sticker over their um, number, just a little Totoro sticker just so it keep, to keep it private. And they've even got like little instructions like, here is at home, push the door phone. I was like, oh, that's so lovely of them. So I'm going to be staying with Yuka and Masato and their dog, Poo. And they've got three Airbnb um, rooms for people to stay in. And they seem like wonderful hosts already. Like they've helped me get um, a Studio Ghibli um, ticket for the museum, the Ghibli Museum. And um, they've got like things on their airbnb site that says like they can do like little tea ceremonies with you and teach you how to do like japanese cooking so i thought they're already lovely so that's why i chose them um and as you can see like this little map is just so adorable so when i get there i'm gonna ask them if i can do a house like tour for you guys because i thought that'd be really um nice so the next page is just a list of all the house rules um one thing i've got to remember is to always take my shoes off I've got to remember that because I'm not used to taking my shoes off at the front door here in Australia. The next few pages is just all the addresses of the um, like guest houses and little backpackers and things I'm going to be staying in. And then if we flip the page again, I've got video ideas that you guys told me and then I've got all your addresses under this little flap here, but obviously I'm not going to be showing you the addresses. Um, but I've just abbreviated the ideas. so. Strange stationary items, mini DIY traveling journal, adventure slash travel, like scavenger hunt, Japanese packaging letter, and postcards from Japan. So, um, I know exactly what those videos are going to be. I've just abbreviated, so it might sound a little bit weird. Um, and I've just got a few more little pages to set up. So, um, I'm going to flick you down to this little book and show you the real rest of the setup. And yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you guys for today.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm so excited to take you guys to Japan with me um, for four weeks so that's really exciting so give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited like me um, and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye